notes from months of prisoner interrogations. That information is stored on a military-grade laptop, kept in the main holding area downstairs. to keep the true sun safe. You'll be looking for some kind of security term. en route.
Assistance needed. What was that? Try to break through! Covered intel is going to be a whole lot of help to Odessa in the short term, but to all of us in the long run. You also effectively put this hellhole out of commission. Yo, what's good? It's us with Power Man. Today I got another build video for y'all. And today in this build, I'm bringing y'all a perfect clutch PvE build, man. With title update 10 on the way, SMGs are getting an insane buff, man. So after this update, we should see a lot more people running around with SMGs in PvE. And also, one of my favorite SMGs, the MPX, is getting a 20% buff. And I'm also using with that with this build so y'all can already see how much damage it outputs. And with that 20% buff, it's actually going to be insane, man. But further ado, let's get into the build. I'm running the Technician with this build. And I'm running it for the plus one skill tier. For the shield and the drone. And we running it for the t plus 10% skill healing for the fixer drone. So with this build, you get plus one skill tier and you get 10% healing. That's automatically 30% extra healing for the fixer drone. Alright, with the tactical vector SBR, I got one hitting at 94.7k. We got 12 SMG damage, 21 critical hit chance, 10% damage to target out of cover, and we got measured. The top half of the magazine has 20% rate of fire and minus 30% weapon damage. The bottom half of the magazine has minus 20% rate of fire and 30% total weapon damage. And as for my mods, I got a 5% critical hit damage right here. I got a 10% stability. You only can put crit chance right there, so I went with 10% stability, and we got a 5% crit hit damage mod. Alright, this is the MPX. It's getting a 20% damage buff next next update. We it's hitting at 107. We got 13 SMG damage, 19 critical hit chance, 10% damage to target out of cover and strain. Gain 10% critical hit damage for every 0.5 seconds you are firing. Stacks up to five times. Strain is absolutely good with this gun and y'all seen how much damage it was already outputting with that 20% buff This gun is going to be insane. We got 5% critical hit damage. We got 10% stability and another 5% critical hit damage mod All right, let's get into the gear. So we got a Sokolov mask we're using a three-piece Sokolov. We got 10% SMG damage, 15 critical hit damage, and 10 critical hit chance. We got 15 weapon damage, 20 repair skills, 12 critical hit damage, and 12 critical hit damage mod. We're using the 20% repair skills for the extra healing. And we also have incoming repairs on this build to work with clutch. But incoming repairs also works with your self-healing as well. So it's pretty nice. We got the RNK chest piece. It gives me 15% incoming repairs. 
We got 15 weapon damage, 6 critical hit chance, 9.5 critical hit damage, and 19.8 incoming repairs. And you want a chest piece with a blue mod slot so you, you, so you can put incoming repairs right there. And we also got glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%. All damage you take is amplified by 50%. So playing with the shield is like a must just to protect us more from damage and you can pull it out at the right time. We got one piece group Osamba for the 15% critical hit damage. We got 15 weapon damage, 20 repair skills, and 12 critical hit damage. Alright, this is our second piece of Sokolov. We got 15 weapon damage, 12 critical hit damage, and 20 repair skills. All right, we got some Sokolov gloves. We got 15 weapon damage, 10.1 critical hit damage, and six critical hit chance. And we got the Devil's Do Backpack. The one piece gives you 10% critical hit chance. We got 15 weapon damage, 12 critical hit damage, and 4.4 headshot damage. And we got 19.6 incoming repairs. So perfect clutch. If you are below 20% armor, critical hits repair 2.5% missing armor. And also that goes on how fast you can shoot too. So if you got a gun with a high RPM, that's putting more critical hits even faster so you'll be healing faster as well. Also we got kills allow you to repair up to 100% armor for 4 through 10 seconds based on your number of core attributes. So after you get that kill, you can repair up to 100% armor up for up to 10 seconds. Alright, so let's check out the skills. We're running the Crusader Shield. It already has plus one skill tier. So we have about 2 million health on that. And that's a decent amount for when you're running and gunning in PvE. 2 million health on your shield is pretty nice right there. And that actually can block a lot of damage. So running the shield with an SMG is pretty good and I was actually felt comfortable without running my revival hive so real quick let's get into the mods we got 3.7 health we got a 5% damage bonus per enemy and we also have a 5% shield health so all together that's like an 8.7% extra shield health that's pretty decent all right let's get into the drone so we got a plus one skill tier and an extra 10% healing. So that's 30% armor repair, not including all the repair skills we have on the build. So that's pretty decent. And we got 6.5 duration, 6.6 .6 armor repair, and 10% health. All right, so let's check out the stats. So we got 94k weapon damage. We got 60 critical hit chance, 41k PvP weapon damage, 164 critical hit damage, and 74.4 headshot damage. Alright, we got 100% weapon damage. We got 37 submachine gun damage bonus. And on the incoming repair, that also works with your skills as well. So we got 54.4 incoming repair and it increases the amount of armor repair gained from skills. So we got incoming repairs working with repair skills on our Fixer drone which is pretty nice. But this is the build. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe man. I appreciate y'all for coming through. Deuces.